I am very much happy to meet you all you in this fine occasion. And this is the second time I come to Bangalore. And the thought is regarding to self-realization. We have to share our ideas. Actually, the self-realization is the core of the spiritual world. If you realize yourself, you need not attain anything. Because the self-realization is the beginning and end to the spiritual world. But in reality, if anybody asks, who are you, what will be our answer? We will, will answer that I am so and so, I am my body, I am in the birth, I am having such kind of birth, I am such kind of profession, I am having some occupation, name. I have some relatives, power, position, and so on, we reply like that. We mean we are our body, we mean we are our mind. But actually, are we our body, are we our mind? So it is the ordinary people to say like that, but in the spiritual world, the answer would be, you are not the body, you are not the mind. You are the pure Atma, you are the pure Self, that you have to realize for yourself. Even though you know your body, you are the mind, that is not the real fact. You have to know you are the absolute reality, you are the Atman, you are the Self, your pure consciousness. So that is the only answer given by the scriptures, saints and everybody, that is the only answer. That is the only remedy given by each and everybody. But if anybody asks, who are you? Can we say, I am Atman, I am the Self? Do you have the confidence to say like that? Yes, I am the Atman, I am the Self. Can we have the confidence? Why? Because it is said, the Self, the Atman alone is real. Every other thing is illusion, every other thing is false. But even though it is real and truth, why should not have our, we have the confidence? Why do we do not have the confidence that we are Atman, we are the Self? What is the reason? Because it is a few fact, it is the truth. Anybody says, all the saints says, it is the absolute truth that you are Atman. The reality is, yourself is Atman. But we do not know the reality. If anything is real, this must be clear. Why you should hide itself behind some other thing? Why it is, it is not evident? You all know the great saint Ramana Maharishi. If anybody goes to Ramana Maharishi and asks their problem, Swami, I have many problems, I have many worries, my family is very having some, so many problems in my profession, in my family. I have so many problems. What is the remedy? What is the remedy for our suffering? But the Ramana Maharishi's only, only answer is that you have to realize that you are the Atma. You are the Self. 
he says simply says atma satchatkar alone will cure all your problem if you do not know the atma satchatkar if you are unable to have the atma satchatkar you cannot be free from your worries so the remedy for all your worries all or your problems is to know that you are atma you are self you must have atma satchatkar the atma satchatkar alone clears all your problem so whatever may be the question the, the question may be related to his family or other problem whatever may be the problem his only answer is that you have to realize yourself you have to question yourself who am i and find out that you are the atman you are the self how can we know we are the self how can we know that we are the atman in the scriptures alone says we are atman the saints alone say you are atman but in our day to day life we know we do not know what is atman we know our body we know our mind we do not know the whereabouts of the atma we, we do not know the whereabouts of the self the scriptures alone says you are atman the say the saints alone say you are atman but it is not our actual fact the actual fact is our mind it is we are our mind we are our body that is your knowing we are we are knowing that we are having some body we are having body we are having mind that is the natural fact the scripture alone says you are atman the saints alone say you are atman so how, how can we know we are atman how can we know the scriptures are correct the words of the saints are correct and the scriptures says the quality of atman what is the quality of atman what is the quality of the self you may read bhagavad gita and some other scriptures the scripture says the atma is pure we cannot cut the atma we cannot burn we cannot drench it is beyond our it is we cannot drench it through water we cannot destroy it through fire we cannot cut it there is no birth there is no death to atma atma is eternal atma is pure the scripture says like that but do, do you know is there anything within ourselves which is birthless and deathless that cannot be touched by fire or water so how can we know is there any atma is there any self and if you know anything if you understand anything if you feel anything we can know anything through our senses we can feel anything we can understand anything we can know anything we can feel anything only through our five senses of our body we have mind we can know anything through our intellect and mind we have the two items the true process of knowing only through senses only through our mind the two ways alone we can know anything we can understand anything we can feel anything we can see hear or sense we by through our sensation through our sensitivity that alone we can know anything can we know our know the atman can we know the self through our senses through our sensitivity the scripture says we cannot know we cannot know atman we cannot know the self through your senses uh, can we know the self can we know the atman through our mind no you cannot know your atma you cannot know yourself through your mind but we have the two items the two tools the two apparatus alone we are having 
the two apparatus is useless to know the atma the two apparatus is useless to understand what is self what is atma then what, then how can we know we are atma how can we know we are self so in this circumstances one person when ramana maharishi says like that you have to know you are atma you have to have atma sachatkar only one person alone ask some clarification of the atma sachatkar can we know atma with pratyaksha bhava can we know the atma through pratyaksha can we know as we know anything can we know just like can we know the atma just like as i see other person just i see as other object can we know the atman like that then only ramana marishi have a different kind of stand take different kind of stand we cannot know atma we cannot know self we cannot know atma through pratyaksha bhava only by dissolving our ignorance alone we can know atma so in the first in the first first time he says in the first instance he says like that as if we can know atma and self as positively and after that he speaks negatively only through removing the ignorance only through removing the illusion then alone we can know atma so you take the different kind of stand he change his stand so why he takes such kind of different kind of stand can we know atma positively can we know can we feel atma directly the saw the scriptures alone says we are having atma and if you ask the scripture well, how can we know we are atma how can we know we are self we are the pure self and what would be the answer of this scripture is there in way shown by the scripture how to know how to realize atma and the scriptures point out a way how to realize atma you have to know atma you have to know self only through atma atma can be known through only through atma alone you have to know the self only through self self alone can know the self atma alone can know the atma so is it possible <laughs> but the scripture says like that but the scripture is not joking the scripture is seriously says like that you take an example someone of our family some member of our family has gone and he has not returned for several days we have searched him here and there for several days and we cannot find out him and at last we decided to complain in the police station and complain in the police officer complain to the police station and complain to the police officer that somebody of my family member lost for several days and he has not returned please find out him we requested the police officer and the police officer inquired us which is the lost place which is the place the person who has gone away which is the last place he has gone to what is the place the person he has missed gone to that place 
is there anybody who knows where is their last place what is the last place the person yes mr way has gone is there anybody knows the detail and we told him only one person alone know the detail and he asked who is that person the person who has gone away is that person because he himself know where is the last place he has gone so in their circumstances in that way the scripture simply says that the atma alone knows the atma the self alone knows the self so the total subject is irrelevant so when it is is it it is not possible for ourselves but it is not possible to know the self through our mind not possible to know through our mind through our body or senses then what is the use of knowing the self what is the use of no understanding the self understanding the atma but the scriptures are not speaking lie it has to be explained like that so that is the nature of that it is some person correct even though it is humorous and uh, in a different way it is some person correct it has to be explained like that for example we are having body we know we feel that we are having body we have the sensitivity that we are having the body the total body is sensitive one day we are having fever high degree of fever 103 104 105 we have a that your fever strong fever and the tot- the whole body is feverish and sensitive painful and we take medicine or some other pro- take some other process and get relieved from the fever but after the after the relief from the fever can we feel the body can we know the body when the fever is high when the total body is fever is total body is painful so out of the the fever has gone we are free from the fever we are recovered from the fever so in that condition in the healthy condition of our body can we feel the body can we know the body we can simply say we are i am i am knowing the body i am feeling the body i feel i am having the body it we can easily say like that but but you can say you can verify you cannot feel any part of your body even though the total body is sensitive you cannot know you cannot feel any part of the body even the tip of the finger you cannot feel even though it is sensitive the basic nature of our sensitivity is insensitive that is the nature of the sensitivity so if you know here we have to touch here if i touch here i can know the feeling of this part otherwise you cannot know the hand you cannot know the so if you want to know if you feel the, fit, uh, the tip of the finger we have to concentrate i have to vibrate through our concentration then only we can feel the vibration of here otherwise i cannot feel any part of the body even though the total body is sensitivity even the total body is sensitive we cannot feel the body itself that is the nature of the consciousness the consciousness is the real thing the consciousness is the only real thing 
but the basic structure of the consciousness is in the state in the form of unconsciousness so what we feel is only the expression of consciousness the we, we nobody can know the real state of consciousness the real state of consciousness is in the form of unconsciousness what we know what we feel is only the expression of consciousness we know the expression of sensitivity the real sensitivity insensitivity the real consciousness is in the form of unconsciousness that is the nature of being it is said the self is prajnana prajnay the brahmam prajnanam brahmam the brahmam is in the form of prajna it is in the form of consciousness but really in the basic structure of our consciousness in the even it is in the stress self even it is atma even it is brahma everything the real state of consciousness is in the form of unconsciousness so now we cannot know it we cannot feel it so what we feel is only the expression of consciousness the base of everything is unconscious we know we feel only the expression of consciousness we feel the expression of the base we feel we conscious of something but all we have, what we conscious of something what we feel is only the expression of consciousness that all expression is is, is momentary everything comes and goes everything comes and goes because it is only the expression the expression cannot last very long it comes and goes that is the nature of the expression but the real state of consciousness is is timeless it is beyond birth and death but we cannot measure it we cannot feel it but it is it is safe and secure it is pure there is no problem in the consciousness it is there is no problem in the self there is no problem in the atma so where is uh, where we are having problem but we feel we are having problem where is the problem the atma is pure the brahmam is pure the self is pure and if you take if you know brahma every problem will be solved if you know atma every problem will be solved if you take the stand like that how can we know we are atma how can we know we are self it is impossible nobody can know nobody can feel the self so it cannot be the answer for our problem the knowing the self knowing the atma is not the answer for our problem so we have to know the real function of our problem if you understand the function of our problem if you understand the function of our mind then only we can solve the problem so the all the problem is in our mind all the problem is in the expression of the consciousness all the problems is in the intellect so we have to approach the problem in a different dimension if you take the stand if you know atma if you know the self all the problem will be solved it cannot be possible because it is impossible to know the self it is impossible to know the atma it is the impossible to know the brahman but we can know the expression we can know the functioning of our mind so that is possible so if you search if you feel anything if you discuss anything if you understand anything in the problem in the in the in the area of the problem we can solve the problem otherwise the solution is not possible the remedy is not possible so what is the functioning of our mind what is the happening of our mind what is the formation of our mind what is mind we know we are having mind we know we feel we understand anything 
through our mind each and every day we are having the mind we are using the mind so what is mind the mind is a kind of consciousness it is a kind of expression in the form of consciousness but it is not conscious alone some intellect is there it is the combination of consciousness and intellect it joins together as mind and there is a story in yoga vasistha some somebody of you may know the story of that and there is some war there was some war in between the asuras and devas the asuras on one part the evil force that is asura and the other the good force is the deva the angels and devils and with the for the help of the asura the guru of asura produced a special kind of demand through some sacrifice some sacred fire she produced a special kind of demand to attack the devas created by the the guru of the asura and it is said such the demon cannot be conquered they cannot be destroyed by anyone it is said like that so the deva even though how much they try to conquer the demon they cannot succeed the reason for the failure is said that the demon has no mind it is a mindless creature the mindless demon so how can we conquer the demon and the devas asked the help of the vishnu and vishnu asked them to fight the demon but don't fight seriously and fight and pretend to be having the fight and you return back you do they like that for 3 or 4 days 4 times so in this way all the devas fight against the demon the mindless demon and return and escape they have done it for 3 times or 4 times and after us out of the fifth time and the vishnu says now you can fight with the demon and if you you can fight and you can destroy the demon so what is the secret so the the when we fight with the demon for three times it creates a memory it creates a memory in the mind in the demon and the memory creates the mind for the three times the happening creates a memory structure in the demon and creates the mind so the consciousness everybody is having consciousness nobody is free from consciousness nobody can be free from consciousness consciousness is everywhere so the memory there is no memory in the demon and when they have when, when they fight for three times it creates a memory pattern in the structure of the demon and creates a mind so when the demon gets the mind it become powerless so the devas fight 
straightly and destroyed the demonic soul. So he, that is the formation of our mind, our memory pattern and our consciousness joined together as the mind. So the mind is nothing but our consciousness and memory. That is our mind. But it creates all the problems. So what is the problem? The combination of the memory and consciousness creates all the problem. So how can we free from the problem? How can we free from the clutches of the mind? So if you know the function of our mind, we can be very easily free from the problem of our mind. The freeing from the problem of mind, free from the problem of mind, is the liberation. If we free from the problem of our mind, we can feel we are liberated, we are enlightened. But we cannot say, I know, I am Atma, I know, I am Brahman. That is impossible. That is not possible. Nobody can know like that. Nobody can feel like that. For what sake we can say like that? But it is impossible. It is nobody can know like that. Nobody can feel like that. But if you feel we can free from the problem of our mind, if you disregard the problem of our mind, if you release the problems of our mind, then only we can know, we can feel we are liberated. We can feel we are enlightened. So real, the, what the problem, the, all the problem is only in our mind. So how can we free from the problem of our mind? We know the, the, the consciousness and memory is the structure, is the formation of our mind. But where the problem happens? How the problem happens? We know we are having mind. We do not know we are having Atma, we do not know we are having Self. But we all know we are having mind. That is the open fact. We cannot say, I have no mind. Yes, we know, everybody knows we are having mind. Everybody knows we are having problem. That we we'll all know, we are conscious of our problem. We are conscious of our mind. That is a day-to-day fact. So what is the functioning of our mind? What is the happening? What is the problem? What is the structure of our problem? Our mind is functioning in two ways. Our mind is functioning in two ways. The one is the happening of the mind. The another one is the doing of our mind. The one is unconscious happening of our mind. The other one is the conscious doing of our mind. We are doing many things consciously. But many things happen unconsciously. The unconscious happening of our mind and the conscious doing of our mind. That is the two functioning, that is the two aspect of our mind. This is almost, it is begin to be the night, from the morning till the night, from the time you wake up from the bed until you reach here, throughout the day, you might have, have several kind of feelings, several kind of thoughts in your mind. From the morning till the evening, you might have, you yourself have experienced many kind of feelings, many kind of thoughts. How many thoughts, how many feelings you have created, how many thoughts and how many feelings happens on its own. 
99% of your feelings 99% of your thoughts happens on its own only 1% of the thing you created for yourself you can decide you can think you can you can uh, decide for something you can work for something and most of the things happen on its own we have several kind of feelings fear sorrow anger there are many kind of feelings can you create any feeling on your own fear can you create fear can you create sorrow can you consciously create any feeling if you act in a cinema the director may say you express some sorrow in your face you express some anger you express some fear you can try to have some feeling in you can show some feeling in your face but it is just an act it is not a real feeling so whatever be the feeling whatever be the thought happens naturally happen unconsciously that is the natural part it happens naturally that is the one part of our feeling one part of our mind the other part that we are doing we are using our mind we are we think we consciously think we consciously execute exercise our mind we consciously work work out and we do something that is the other part of our, of our mind that we do consciously a student study his lesson work out his problems an industrialist work out all his problems he creates he develops he works through his mind he plans he executes he consciously do that is other part of our mind <laughs> but here where is the problem the conscious expression of our mind the conscious action of our mind try to control the unconscious part of our mind that is the problem the unconscious happening happens on its own but our conscious mind wants to control the unconscious happening of our mind it wants to be free from sorrow it wants to be free from fear it wants to be free from anger but we have not created anger we have not created fear we have not created the sorrow but in any way we want to be free from that as if we are creating that so that is the problem but in any way we feel the problem we feel there is some problem if you free from sorrow if you free from anger if you free from fear sorrow suffering everything will be all right will be happy but how can we bring all these things how can we have the control over the unconscious happening and one time somebody asked me i have a problem it is very easy for me to get angry and it is very hard to control the anger it is very difficult to control anger getting angry is very easy but controlling anger is very hard and i humorously asked him so you need not worry about the anger you need not try to control the anger because it is very hard it is very difficult to control anger you say you yourself say it is very easy to be angry and be angry for from the morning till evening be in the angry position be angry be, be in the anger be with the anger from the morning till evening can you be in the anger so then only we know it is impossible 
the very nature of everything it is just a, like a burst of some cracker each and every experience form unconsciously anger sorrow suffering everything whatever happens it comes from the unconscious part of our mind and it has some expression it is uh, it, it express just like like a explosion as a explosive substance it burst away we know the burst the burst of our feeling that is our experience that is our feeling moment by moment we know something we feel something it is the feeling it is a burst of feeling it is a burst of it is an explosion and it it explodes and disappears the life duration of each and every feeling each and every experience is only a fraction of second it disappears on its own we have no business to control any feeling it comes and goes on its own but we try to control it is already going it is already disappearing but we are not satisfied with that we want to have control over that so if you know if you understand we have no business we have no control over the happening of the unconscious happening of our mind what happens because we think if you do something then only we know we everything is we, we we keep everything under our control but it is impossible if you understand it is impossible to have the unconscious part under our control we can never try so what we have to understand that our conscious part has no control over the unconscious part so that that we are consciously know because we have the power we have the examination we have the intellect the unconscious part will not operate the unconscious part cannot discuss cannot evaluate anything it is a happening there is no intellect we cannot discuss the unconscious part through our intellect we cannot discuss the intellect part alone the intellect part can alone discuss its own state it can it can discuss it can understand it can feel it can it, it can understand and come to a conclusion that is capable the intellect part alone is capable the unconscious part is not capable of discussion so the intellect part alone having the option to discuss option to discern something option to enquire and through our enquiry through our finding we have to come to a conclusion that we have no business to control the unconscious part so if you come to the simple conclusion we have no business to control over the unconscious part the unconscious part becomes set right on its own because it cannot last for more than a fraction of second it disappears moment by moment only because of our interruption we make the problem in a worse condition several years ago i have seen a television program telecasting for the students how to light a candle the lighting of the candle they are explaining the lighting of a candle and 
one person is lighting a candle through match box so three matches and they try to light the candle and they through through the matches lit the the wick of the candle they have to use one they try to throw one matches and it is unable to lit the candle and use another match another match stick to lit the candle and it takes two match sticks to lit a candle then only the wick of the candle gets fire so after lighting the the candle the candle begins to burn it creates a flame and after some time you burn out you put off the the flame and after put off the flame we second time you try to lit the candle through match stick but in the second time if you when we reach the near very near to the candle it begets flame they ask what is the reason in the first time it is very difficult to set the fire but after the second time when we very when the when we go very near to the uh, candle it gets gets the flame the reason they are saying actually the the flame of the candle is not burning only through the wick of the candle some vapor has formed through the candle and the flame is fired only through the the vapor of the candle so even though put out the flame the vapor is still remaining so if you reach the vapor through the match stick it gets fire around again you need not reach the wick of the candle itself so in this same way even though all the feelings gone away each even though it is a burst even each and every each and every feeling as a burst is a explosion even though it is gone away it has some residue it has some remissions and we think something is existing we mistakenly feel the 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 feeling has not gone for example the fan is moving it is functioning we put off the switch even though we put off the switch that the current has been tripped even though current has been put up put away the fan is running for some more time it will already it will automatically come to a stop but anyhow we think it is not uh, stopping we once again we put on the switch the one it gets running so in this way we are interrupting our feelings as if it is existing actually all our feelings are are ending for the every moment it, it is a momentary one it is it can each and every fraction of second it comes and disappears we need not worry about the disappearance of our feeling but we want to have control over the feeling then only we try to regulate the feeling thereby we interfere the feeling thereby we give life to the feeling otherwise all our feelings will go away so that is the freedom of our feeling that is the appearance and disappearance of feeling actually the appearance and disappearance of our feeling is the liberation of our mind the liberation of our mind is always in our mind it is the natural happening of our mind we need not worry about the liberation of our mind it is the nature of our mind our no feeling cannot no feeling can stay there no feeling can stay more than even it can live more it cannot live more than a fraction of second each and every moment it is just like a river it is just like a flow of river 
So that is the freedom of our mind. That is the liberation of our mind. The liberation of our mind is our natural state. But only because of our wrong idea, we are interrupting, we are interrupt the flow of our feeling. Some river is flowing. If we interrupt the flow of our river with our hand, what will happen? The water will encircle the hand. Some some flow will form. Some circle will form. So it is unnecessary interruption. Only through our conscious interruption, we are disrupting the natural flow of our mind. Otherwise, the flowing, the natural appearance and disappearance of our feeling is the nature of our mind. We need not worry about that. So our conscious mind has to understand that we have no duty to interrupt the unconscious happening of our mind. That is the conscious understanding. If you understand, the understanding is enough. Because the very understanding will operate. That means, that means you are not disturbing yourself. Actually, our mind, even though we are dividing for the explanation, you are dividing into two. Actually, our mind is one. When we want to understand, when we want to control one part of our mind, we divide the mind into two. We want to try to control the other part of our mind. So it is just like trying to see the back of our body. Is it impossible? Nobody can look the back of your body. You can take round and round. How many round you can take, you can never see the back of your body. So in, in the same way, if you try to control the other part of your mind, it is just like a self-contradiction. It is a struggle within ourselves. It is impossible. But if you give up your struggle, if you feel the foolishness of our effort, then we are not struggling with the other part of our mind. So the total part of our mind, the total mind becomes one. The total mind becomes one. The total mind is a flowing mind. The total mind is a liberating mind. So only thing, if you want to have something concrete, something definite, then we are struggling. Actually, what we feel is only, it is already over. What we feel, all the feelings is just like an explosion and explode and gone away. You may know the, the lightning, thunder. In our life, we, often we, may, we, we, we see the thunder. In the first instance of a thunder, we have the flashlight of the lightning. That alone we can know. A few seconds later alone, we feel that we hear the noise of the thunder. Some gap will be there. So most of the most of the people will be afraid. They will not be afraid of the lightning. They will be afraid of only of the, the noise of the thunder alone. But if you, we if we but if we can understand that. If you, if we if you hear the noise of the thunder. The thunder will never burn up, it will fall, never fall upon our head. Because it is already over. The thunder is already over when the lightning happens. In the happening of the lightning itself, the thunder is over. It is only the the noise is only the after effect. When the when the, when the noise is happening, when the noise when we are hearing, the thunder is already gone away. It is already over. But in the night, in the open sky, you can see many kind of stars. Several stars we can see. We can very, we can easily see many stars and enjoy the beauty of the stars. 
there is no difficulties of seeing the stars but if you show the stars to the scientists they will get confused because they say that the star, the light from the star it reaches i it will take years and years the light reaches uh, after many years it takes many years of time when we see the stars here the stars may not be there it may be the light happens one year before that or several years may be before that but it is but but we see the stars open up then our open eyes we are seeing the stars but actually the stars may not be there that is a science so in the same way even though we feel we are having some feeling it is not actually there this is always it is a disappearance it is a expression of disappearance but we anyhow we are trying to compare the feeling which is already disappeared so if you understand it is waste of energy to control the feeling which is not actually there it is just like a waste of energy and understand this understanding is enough when the conscious part of our mind understand we have no duty to control over the unconscious part of our mind the conscious part becomes liberated the unconscious part is always liberated there is no problem in the unconscious part only the conscious part alone creates the problem the conscious part understand where we have no business to deal with the unconscious part and it keeps silent the unconscious part will happens automatically and it happens and it creates a good combination between the conscious part and unconscious part the unconscious part becomes the natural flow of our mind and the natural flow of our mind is just like an innocent child you may know the innocent child happening the expression of an innocent child the child may express all kind of feelings but he will not stick on to any feelings all feeling may come it will go all feeling may come it will go it will not stick it will not feel guilty of any of the feelings that is the innocence of part of the child that is the innocent stage stage state of the child so in this way the unconscious happening of our mind if you do not ignore if you do not struggle with the unconscious part of our mind the total mind becomes innocent state of mind but in the, the conscious mind that is the intellect part becomes intelligent if you do not struggle with the unconscious part the conscious part become powerful it has more energy because it is not wasting energy to deal with the unconscious part you totally neglect the unconscious part so it becomes intelligent and you can the intelligent part can operate the in the in the day to day life itself so the total the day to day life becomes a blessed life the day to day life is a good life so the only thing the conscious mind has to understand that it has no business to deal with the unconscious part of its own mind so then only the understanding operates so the understanding has to that understanding that it has the this incapability the incapability of the conscious mind so if it if it if it, if it consciously know that and if you satisfy with the knowing of the the finding of the mind everything is over the all the problem is over the only problem is fighting about it is only a self contradiction otherwise there is no problem <laughs>